What's going on everyone? It's Mike back again and this is your instant match reaction. Everton have just beaten Salford City 3-0 in a game at Goodison Park where Everton have not just beaten Salford City but they rattled the post and crossbar probably the best part four, five, maybe even six times. There was even one point when it looked like a complete game of FIFA where Moyes Keane hits the post and Gordon hits the crossbar straight after. Um, we've got Dad with me. He's obviously watched the that game with us. We've been on the watch along. The views tonight have absolutely smashed it. So thank you all so much. Um, what was your tag on it, Dad? Uh, heavy weather in the first half. Don't read sort of... 10 minutes into the second half, the glare from Duncan sort of woke everybody up and they started playing like they could play. But 3 0, I'll, I'll take 3 0, I'll take a cliche any day of the week, I'll take any week, be with a cliche any day of the week. Um, but yeah, I thought for first half, heavy weather. Yeah, John, what was your, what was your take on the game? Yeah, I said it in the watch along, you know, echoing what your dad said there. It wasn't a great performance in the first half, especially, but I did say, you know, cup competitions, especially when the early stages, it's all about getting through. And we've done that tonight, you know, it could have been, as you said, five, six, seven, eight, you know, we hit the post, we hit the bar many times. Few players didn't do themselves much justice tonight and didn't really play themselves into Ancelotti's thoughts for the for the Premier League games, but Listen, we are through. We play Fleetwood now away from home. In the next round, I, th I thought one player today shone and stood out for me. That was on Cuckoo or whatever his name is. You know, he. I have no doubt in my mind if he had to step in to cover for Luca Dean, then he is well up, well up for it. You know, and Salford uh, didn't really look. Salford didn't really look threatening. Um, you know, I think. If Everton had to play better, they would have done. I feel, I think, I feel like they were in second gear all night. We had players on the pitch to come on and change it, but it's job done. You know, three 0 Everton. They did deserve the win, as you say. They hit the woodwork many, many times. Our keeper didn't really have much to do. No, and and to be fair, you know, in a game that. You know, don't get me wrong. It wasn't it wasn't a difficult game tonight. But they come here and they were up for it. You know, they tried to play football. They had a couple of early opportunities. They they put a couple of balls in your garden. You know, they did all right. They weren't a bad side, Salford, and they give us a bit of a test tonight. And I, I'm quite happy about that. I'm happy that it, it was a tough, tough game for us. Do you get what I mean? I'm I'm happy. It wasn't easy because they did come here, they were physical, they were aggressive when they needed to be. They put a few dodgy challenges in, one on Kenny, one on Gordon. You know, Moyes King got roughed about a bit, didn't have a great game. But, you know, it was a test for us early on in the season after beating Spurs, a different side. Looked all right. Do you think any of these players, bar obviously and Conda, did himself, you know, did themselves proud? You know, is there anyone that walked off that pitch that you go, yeah, I don't want to sell him? No, no, obviously we've got the players there who we know are going to be at the club, the likes of your Anthony Gordons, your Branthwaite, your Unconcus or Conku, whatever his name is, you know, but when you start going th through the rest of the team, your Tom Davis, your Gilfie Sigurdsons, who I can't believe got man of the match off Sky, um, Moyes Keane, none of them put any glory onto themselves tonight and... I just I, I just don't get the Moyes Keane situation whatsoever. He should be having a flyer against teams like that. He should be strong. He should be muscling them off the ball. He should be holding it up better. He should be scoring the chances he had. None of the players tonight who should be playing themselves into Ancelotti's thoughts done themselves any favours whatsoever, in my opinion. Would you... Um... With with the way that Everton play, obviously Unkondu played really well. Yeah, we've been linked with with Zaha. Now, look, I'm not saying this lad is as good as Zaha, but what I did say in that stream is I reckon he's a very, very, very good player, and he's got a lot of potential. Oh yeah. Do you think, you know, do you think you could play him in midfield? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you said it in the stream, Michael. You know, he's he's very capable of pushing up the field. I'm playing on that left-hand side. Are Everton going to play like that with the other three players in the team to, to utilise how he plays further up the field? Probably not at the minute. Um, 
would if we could push him up the pitch and play him where it's a harder play would a would a play him instead of going out and spending 30 40 million pounds on Zahar absolutely we could save ourselves a lot of money by seeing if he can play further up yeah i i just think i just think for everton i think it was a a a, a good performance it wasn't a great performance. It was a game where we got the job done. And that is all it's about. That's all it's about. We go through to the next round of the Cup against Fleetwood. And, and that's that was look, that was the criteria of tonight. That was the aim. We win the game yeah. and we've done it. Yeah. And Konku, man of the match for me, by a country mile. I can't believe that they give it to Sigurdsson on Sky, as I say. For me... He deserves man of the match. I did notice the camera panned on him at the end of the game. So, whatever channel I was watching it on, I'm assuming they've given him man of the match, which goes along with what I say. Yeah, I I, I personally think he deserved it. I, I was really impressed with him. Um, one last thing. Moise Keane scored a penalty tonight. He did not look happy no. at all. Mm. Um, some people in the comments said it's because he's got high expectations of himself. You know, he, he doesn't accept mediocrity, he doesn't accept poor performances. And that's a positive, you know, that's a sulking at himself attitude. I've, I've got no problem with that. Um, but I think there might be more to it. I think he's off. Yeah, I think I agree with your dad there. I think he knows he's off. I think he's probably disappointed. If he is off and he does go, I think he'll be very disappointed in himself that it didn't work out for him. You know, it was a big move for him. And he was he was in the top 10 votes for Young Player of the Year, you know, before he come to Everton. So I think he's very disappointed in himself. I think he's disappointed how it's worked out for him. Is he homesick? Is the Premier League not for him? Is it too hard? I know it wasn't a Premier League game tonight, but obviously... if it, we can talk about how he plays in the Premier League as well. And listen, he certainly hasn't pulled up any trees for me when I've seen him play. No, that's fair. Right, guys, I think we're going to leave it there. It's, it's obviously a late night. It's 20 past 10. Thanks, every every everyone, for tuning in and watching. I can't believe we got up to 1,800 watchers at one point on our stream. Like, that's that's mega numbers, that is. That's, that's big numbers. So thank you so much. To, um... John, as always, thank you. Um, I shall see You're you welcome. Friday, obviously. And yep. uh, Dad, anything to say? Uh, have a good time in Wales, John. I'm, Cheers, I'm, Rob. Thanks I'm, very I'm much. to everyone else, not John. I mean, fuck John. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's got a missus for that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Guys, I will see you soon. Peace. Can we back up next Tuesday?